My name is Chandra Jacobs from EMC's Backup Recovery Systems Division. In this video today, I'm going to discuss the following things. First, I'll spend some time defining backup as a service, commonly referred to as BAS, and how it's different than other commodity cloud storage solutions in the marketplace. Then, I'll talk about some of the general features of backup as a service, as implemented by service providers for a more comprehensive cloud backup solution. So if you've picked up any trade journals in the past few years, you've definitely read about cloud this and cloud that. Cloud storage, of course, is a really hot topic of late, and industry leaders have all been promoting cloud storage, as well as its subsidiary cloud backup. Backup as a service, or BAS, is part of the overarching storage as a service taxonomy. And because of this, backup creates upsell and cross-sell opportunities for additional complementary services such as tiered storage or big data. Backup is thus considered to be the data on-ramp for many service providers. It's also considered one of the most sticky services with some of the lowest churn rates in the industry. But don't confuse backup as a service with standalone storage, or STAS, as well as archiving as a service. These are distinct storage solution offerings, which can be deployed in tandem with backup as a service, but don't necessarily have to be, and they're not the same thing. And if you're wondering what companies are playing in these areas, I'll give you a few examples. For standalone storage as a service, we see Amazon Web Services, AT&T Web Cloud Store, Google Cloud, Microsoft SkyDrive, and many others. In the archiving as a service space, Products like Amazon Glacier and AT&T employing EMC Atmos can also be found. And of course, in the backup as a service space, which is the topic of this video, we see AT&T Storage Connect, ManageCast, IBM Backup Cloud, or Sigra. The key differentiator between storage as a service and backup as a service also includes a quick recovery SLA. In fact, many times you may even hear analysts, service providers, or end users refer to backup as a service as backup and recovery as a service. And this makes a lot of sense when you think about it. From the perspective of end users and end customers, wanting to back up their data is a given. But they also need to get their data back in a timely manner under agreed to and clear SLAs. Without a quick recovery plan in place or a dedicated SLA, end customers are at the mercy of the cloud provider to get them back online. BAS always has a restore recovery SLA, which can mean tens of thousands of dollars to a business in time of need. And in fact, this is one of EMC's most powerful differentiators against commodity cloud backup as a service players, which allow end users to backup data, but don't necessarily guarantee when that same data will come back online in the event of catastrophic failure. Additionally, service providers can leverage backup as a service in a shared or dedicated cloud infrastructure to backup client data. Customers alike turn to backup as a service to utilize flexible, on-demand backup infrastructure without having to purchase, configure, or maintain it themselves. And this parallels much to an electric power utility example in which end users consume and pay for power without needing to really understand or maintain the component devices and infrastructure required to provide the service. Customers can draw upon the elastic resources that cloud infrastructure delivers in the same way and pay only for what they need. By leveraging a backup as a service infrastructure, service providers can offer uniform data backup capabilities as well as differentiated offerings across their customer base, guaranteeing some of the following things. Assurance that Data is backed up and is recoverable whenever needed. An RTO or RPO SLA that is acceptable to the business operations. A level of granular recovery that's acceptable to the business. Hands-off management encompassing in a user-friendly portal and a self-service model. An active background process for data collection and storage. Scalable and elastic capability. Metering usage such as size, number of copies, data age, etc., and a security, especially for a multi tenant environment. These are the basic requirements that compose an effective backup as a service service provider offering that will lead to additional revenue generation and help end customers move from a CapEx to an OpEx model. And EMC has service provider partners that can do this today. To summarize in this video, 
I've discussed the overarching definition of backup as a service and where it sits in the overarching storage as a service stack. You should have also learned some of the features of backup as a service, as well as the unique selling propositions that service providers can actually offer to end customers by employing backup as a service. For more information, check out emc.com and stay tuned for our next video on service provider deployment models.